All right, folks, it's still November 1st, 2019. At, uh, let's see, it says 3 p.m. here in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And uh, what I'm showing you today, I guess, for just for a little laugh, is uh, a little bit of a guppy feeding frenzy, I guess. Uh, I have a, quite a few males that I've been raised, and uh, I keep the females separate, except for when I want them to be bred really heavily, I guess. But... I only keep the ones I like, the rest either I call or I give away kind of thing. But I, I have uh, some food here, quite a bit actually, but it won't last too long because I'm going to cause a feeding frenzy here in my tank in just a moment. And uh, we'll see them all go crazy here momentarily. And there they go. Off to the rodeo, feeding frenzy by guppies. And everything else that's in my tank, of course. But mostly my mainly, my guppies love them. And also uh, my green corridors. I have five in here now. So uh, there's one of the new additions there at the bottom searching around. I find the babies like to wait until those pellets get a little softer before they actually eat them. But, nonetheless, guppies. I think I have some pretty guppies. I've mixed some. I've bred my own. And I just like sitting back and watching them here and there. It's good pastime sometimes. Ooh, that zebra Danio there, she's pretty heavy impregnated. She's swimming around pretty heavy. I'm trying to keep her in the middle of the screen, she's that heavy. <laughs> wow, is she ever heavy. Oh, well, pretty soon she'll probably go back there in that uh, water grass in the back. And probably deposit some eggs, or maybe in that water grass. Or I have two or four spots with water grass in it, and I have quite a few uh, baby tear clumps as well. Like I put a nice big clump right there in the front, which is growing tremendously because when I put it in, it was only about here for height, so it's growing quite a bit. Same as the water grass in the back, it's grown quite a bit. And my big female corridori, green corridori back there. Being shy as usual she is. She's very, very shy. I don't know why. But she's super, super skittish kind of thing. Now all the other ones are fine and dandy. And uh, also my... Uh, Striped rubber lipped pleco come out as well. Sitting there gulping up some food. Thinking about in the next couple of days maybe adding a couple more Neo Tetras, but I think I might have to start a second community tank because uh, the feeder minnows that I have in here that I saved, I guess, rescued from the pet store. They got to go into another tank because I find the females are wanting to spawn, but they're not really finding anywhere secluded enough since I changed the aquascape. And uh, the females are just driving the males nuts. But with that, I just wanted to show some uh, feeding frenzy. And uh, there's my purple half moon female as well. She's a beautiful betta. She's lazy sometimes. I catch her laying on the bottom just relaxing. But the green corridors are coming out as well to feed. So yeah, guys, for now, that's all I'm going to post today, I guess. Much love. I'm out.